is this thing on? Are we on? Is the camera on? Oh, welcome to Tessa. Barack Obama once said, change will not come if we wait for the other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Ladies and gentlemen, we are streaming live in the new era of TASA, where TASA is taking action to grow digitally. The association is now forecasted to be simpler, as in reality, as youth, we are always on our phones. We'll be taking advantage of several platforms, such as the MyTasa YouTube channel, Zoom Rooms, live broadcasts on Facebook, as well as Instagram. Stay with us as we talk about topics that matter to all of us and explore this journey together. My name is Nasipi Mpiti, and welcome to the very first TASA 2020. <laughs> That's the exact song all our graduates would have loved to hear this year while receiving their certificates. But globally, we have been struck by the coronavirus pandemic, which has placed a lot on hold. Stay with us as we bring you academic excellence during lockdown. We are in a new era where we are forced to shift to the digital world, and many people are worried on how we will save the future. How can we ensure productivity in both our studies and work, making sure that chores don't get in the way? Although that doesn't mean you should leave the dishes to pile up. The question is, how can we ensure successful studying and working wherever we are? Are we going to watch the walls we've built so high crumble down, or are we going to take charge of our future? Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present to you my TASA online. Do not panic, as what you see on screen is all the essentials you need as a foundation to your learning or working. Make sure you plan charge those laptop batteries, get good internet connection, eat balanced meals, and you are good to go. After all, Netflix is not only the thing on the net. Each and every single step matters in getting closer to your dreams. Keep working and never stop till you reach your target. As Tasa, we believe in you, for you are the future. How many people can say that they want this life? I know I definitely want that mention. Actually everything. The power has been given unto you. Now go and unleash it. What you're looking at is the different stages of lockdown and as a country we're currently on level 4 and unfortunately we can only go back to our respective campuses during level 1. We need to obey lockdown rules, stay motivated and gravitate to better studying during these tough times. Benjamin Franklin once said, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. Your future will be products of what you do now. I know that today's topic may bring up a number of questions from you and I want to let you know that they definitely will be addressed. Ladies and gentlemen, she is one of TASA's very own National Executive Committee members holding a bachelor's degree in business management and industrial psychology with honors in business management and currently studying towards management consultancy. Allow me to welcome none other than Ms. Nandi Jogi Lang. Thank you so much, Nasipi. Um, allow me to greet the NEC, the online team and all TASA members that are listening today. 
today the topic is academic excellence during the lockdown well the coronavirus or the COVID-19 pandemic has had a huge impact on the country as a whole and has caused a lot of uncertainty and distress on everyone and learners and students have taken a strain when it comes to academic excellence which led to an approach that was adopted by many universities and schools which is online learning however this approach on its own has got many challenges which are due to internet connectivity problems and other students or learners not having access to the smartphones or devices such as laptops however the the question now is how does one achieve academic excellence during the lockdown firstly we need to understand that studying during the lockdown means studying at home and studying at home means balancing study work secondly studying at home means making use of online platforms to access information that means no more going to the library or physically going to lecture halls you just have to sit at your home with your smartphone or your laptops and access information online as i've mentioned before this also means um, connectivity problems due to poor network that we are experiencing at home also this gives rise to a challenge to some learners who are not having access to smartphones however we have to try and make the best out of the pandemic um, that we are facing and we have to adopt to the new normal here are a few tips that i think will help help us achieve academic excellence during the lockdown firstly we need to plan you need to plan out your days so that you are able to stay on top of things that is plan have a plan of what you're going to do or what you're going to study each and every day of the week as you would if you were on campus or at school we need to understand that when planning you need to set realistic goals as Nasibe has mentioned before setting goals is important because it keeps you motivated and it keeps you on your toes setting goals means you have something to look forward to tomorrow and you have something to work towards too and also you need to set short-term and long-term goals for example achieving that degree as many of us um, were studying towards uh, achieving that degree towards the end of the year or that diploma in in order for you to be able to do that you, have a, you need to have a plan of how you're going to achieve that degree or diploma and also how you're going to get that job when once you're done with your degree or diploma so we need to set realistic goals and we need to work very hard towards achieving those goals also we need to create a timetable creating a timetable will allow you to know exactly when a task is is scheduled a timetable will allow you to set times that will work best for you while studying at home um, include break times in your timetable and please keep in mind that you have chores that you have to do in the house um, and so you have to include that in your time you have to have keep that in mind when you're doing your timetable and also what is important is that you, you need to let your family in on the plans that you've made so that they can be more supportive and they can be more considerate of you when you're studying so that you don't have them asking you to do something else when it's your study time um, thirdly we need to set deadlines for tasks given um, we know that, that in some institutions students have been given work um, assignments projects that they need to submit or projects that they need to do during the lockdown so you have to set your own deadlines for those for, for, for those tasks for example if you were going to submit um, on the 20th of May then maybe set a table to proofread and make corrections where possible um, and also you have to communicate communication is very key um mr has says good communication is a key to success in life work and relationships and i'm sure we've heard that all the time so during this time good communication is very key the point that i want to emphasize is that you need to communicate to have a clear communication with your family with regards to your study times as i've mentioned before secondly you need to make use of online or of social media to communicate with your peers with regards to modules or subjects that you find difficult to do on your own 
um, with regards to assignments that you find to do difficult during this time on your own. Also, during this time, you need to make use of those WhatsApp groups. We've always had WhatsApp groups where we have our friends, um, on other WhatsApp groups, we have our colleagues. So you need to make use of those WhatsApp groups with your colleagues now so that you'll be able to, to pose questions and get assistance there and there. And also, you need to make use of the online platforms that are set by institutions, such as your Blackboard and your e-learning guides, because they contain information that, are going, that is going to be helpful to you during this time. And I'm sure I am not speaking for myself only when I say that TASA members are willing to help. So whenever you have a problem, do approach a TASA member that you think is, is a, going to be able to help you and one that you think has done the module that you need assistance with. Um, also, you need to get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is important as this will help you to focus once you start studying. It's also important to note that your, your sleep schedule should work with your timetable. Remember to set alarms to help you wake up on time so that you don't set, uh, you don't create a timetable and you end up not sticking to the times that you set by yourself. So please have alarms that are going to help you wake up and also alarms that are going to remind you that you need to go and work now. Um, also, it's going to really depend on the individual whether you are I, uh, you work in the morning or you work in the evening but whichever time works best for you you need to take advantage of that time and use it wisely um also i've jotted down a few online platforms or, or websites we have the department of education and sadc which have set up resources to help matriculants um with their online in, um with online lessons. Uh, and also the SAPC Virtual Academy, which is SIVA, has got has set up an online platform whereby e matriculants can access math mathematics, physical sciences, and other subjects. And also they get to have notes and video lessons to assist with self-teaching. And also one site that I think they are found uh, to be helpful is the South African Union of Students. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. Um, this site will give you a detailed report on the initiatives taken by each institution to migrate learning online. Just in case you have not seen any emails from your institutions, make use of the South African Union of Students website. Also, there are several sites that you guys can find online, so please make use of them. Lastly, it is important to remember that this is a uh, trying time for all of us. However, we need to come out. We need, we need to come out more determined and dedicated to our studies in order to achieve academic excellence, so that we can all have bright futures that we have worked hard for. And to be honest, it is going to be very difficult to study during this time. However, you need to try. Try by all means to get some work done, because at some point we'll will beat this virus and things will go back to normal and you'll be left regretting the time that you wasted by not doing anything. Yes, it's challenging because you have to ensure that you have internet connectivity and you have to ensure that you have data in order to access these online platforms. However, there are some online platforms that are free that are accessed freely and there was a poster that was circulating which um, indicated the online platforms that were accessed freely. So you won't be complaining about any data challenges because you can access some information free. And also, um, universities have also pledged to give students laptops. So that also is not going to be a challenge. Right now, during this time, you need to know that you're studying for your future and your future depends on you. And we need to do away with the fact that this year is going to be a waste or what is going to happen because now there has not been anything drastic which is that if you're a first year student you know you are not going to come back next year or you have to come back next year to do your first year the universities and institutions are trying by all means to to mitigate the situation so you need to be able to be willing to learn during this time um 
lastly lastly last for the last time now um what i can say is that make use of the online platforms exercise if you need to because that is going to help you with focusing on your work and i think that's it for today but i'd like to leave you with a quote by pat Riley, which says excellence is the gradual result of always striving to do better so during this time we have to strive to do better you have to strive to get that distinction on that motion you have to strive to work hard towards that degree so that you can be successful or you can excel academically and also a verse that i've taken from jeremiah uh, chapter 1 verse 5 which says i knew you before i formed you in your mother's womb before you were born i set you apart and anointed you as my prophet to the nations so god knows about this pandemic and he knows that it's this is difficult studying at home but he he says that he knew you so he's going to give you strength to keep on studying during this time and he's going to give you um resources people are going to give you resources that are going to enable you to study online so your school brothers and your and your sisters and also the little uh, learners which is uh, your brothers and sisters because they cannot really access or online content but there are channels where they can watch lessons for example we have ET, tv channels and we also have of course fm which is also offering e lessons so you need to make that information available to them otherwise all the best with studying during this time and please try by all means to make the best out of this situation and come out more determined and and dedicated stay home and stay safe from me to you with love thank you so much thank you so much nandi for such valuable information and we're just going to take two questions from our viewers at home the procedure as well so as you see on your screens there's a more um button just click on more i'll demonstrate for you more and you can raise your hand like that if you swipe your screen to the left you will see the people that the host will be able to see the people who have raised their hands i will repeat in order to raise your hand so that you can ask a question click on more and then raise your hand there's a button to raise your hand so you can raise your hand there and then the host will see who has asked the question and then they will spotlight you and then you can ask your question let's see no hands are raised all right so i guess everything was clear it has been an absolute pleasure anandi it has been fantastic having you on the show and i just want to thank you for being my very first guest on the show the future is in your hands thank you guys for joining me like i said i will see you guys next week monday same time 1 pm same place and i'll be joined by another special guest don't forget to follow us on instagram tasa underscore int and on facebook we are the 12 apostles students association and for any queries again comments or suggestions email email tasa tasa my tasa online at gmail.com stay safe stay tuned and don't forget to wash your hands that's all from me Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check the description box below to find Tasa in your province and be sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for more on us.